you guys uh, arrive in the humble town of Vercerli, south of the Verdant Hills, a place of visits rather than long stays. Hacking away at the precious gems of its rocky terrain on our mineral farmers, bringing in the day's bounty of regrowing rocks and ores, courtesy of the mm -hmm. life tree. The melodies of distant hammers are accompanied by the backing of rumbling carts returning to deposit their newfound potential wealth to the larger province to the west. While those who know how to survive outside of a major city make their pay providing to those travelers who cannot. And I am going to bring you into the town map because I have one that I made myself. Here you are. You will Whoa. find yourselves in the top right. Ooh. Oh my goodness. With your <gasps> new so cart. Whimsical. It's so cute and tiny. Yes, it is a very small town, very tight knit. The population is very small, and you can see that any larger amount of people that are here probably are not locals. And also, for the chat, uh, fun little update we now have a cart sheet. Look at it. Yay. This is the cart as Woo! provided. Beautiful. By uh, another overly sexy NPC, courtesy yeah. of Joe Cat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shout out to Tim. That's a good one. Woodworking on this one. Yes. <laughs> mm. Look at those curves. The cart. Look at that lantern. As provided by Lord Tierro, Nicholas Tierro of Trevisetta, to assist the pilgrims in their journey. Ooh. And we got our two horses. Yeah, you got mm -hmm. your Joe, two horses. Is Butterscotch and Efficiency. Butterscotch and Efficiency. <laughs> is this a hamlet? <gasps> in in some ways, yes. I guess you could call it that. Uh, does it have a church? Um, not that you can tell. Give me a perception oh. check, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Secret underground Word would church. Know this. Uh, all right. Let's uh, perception. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh my goodness. Roll. Wait, did it work? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. You're looking around. You can see that there is no designated like prayer area at all. Um, maybe people practice privately within their homes if there is any religious practice here at all. But no designated building specifically for it, from what you can tell. Yo, I'm um, glad we stopped into Satya instead of this place. There's nothing here. <laughs> um, I'm uh, curious I've... about that well, though. I want to go down. <laughs> <laughs> you Depths, guess, here we come. <laughs> you guys can explore exactly whatever it is you want. I think... because. Do we did Joe? Did we get the name of Cor? Is it Coriac? Wasn't was the name of the guy who want us to give it to his family? Is that right? Yeah, we should ask around about. Yeah, him. you did not get a name actually. Okay, I, I think I'll just um, I'm gonna head bring the horses over to the tavern and maybe see if I can find us a place to stay if that's necessary. But um, and I'll at maybe ask around if you guys want to come with me or go look yeah, around. No, I'll, I'll, I'll we'll just find. We'll, yeah. we'll we can meet back up or if you want. But Did you know that that oh, is one well, of the 48 wells me... in all of Alinthi? What? That seems highly unlikely. Should we go in two? It's just the nest of it. <laughs> based on what? What have you estimated it based on? Uh, I have a friend who's really passionate about wells. They've been counting for a while. Uh, Fritz what had a question if you, if you yeah. should go in twos. Hmm. I mean, we can all go together. We don't have to I, split up. I just, I, I don't know if do there's us, anything anyone uh, wants to take care of. We can split up. Mm. I, I have the carving on me. Yes, Koryak did not provide us the name of his relatives, but in a town this small, I imagine it will not be difficult to locate them. Yeah, the information I, you would know is he wanted to give it to his little brother uh, and meet with his mom and dad. Yes. I, I just figure it might be easier to start with the tavern since we might have to stop there anyway and I don't want to just knock on everyone's doors until they did like I th that seems like a waste of energy but the tavern seems tavern? like a good place to start yeah they do have a tavern you can see that there's one right here you have it has a little sign with a little bedding it is the largest building has multiple windows you can guess that it's probably the tavern Woohoo! Yeah, I'll go over there. Let's go tavern. Uh, yeah, let's go to the tavern. I okay, can't come along, but a It's eight a.m. on a Tuesday. Let's get crunk. <laughs> <laughs> and you you bind up the horses and park the cart by uh, some boop, boop. stables by the. Uh, the tavern as well. You walk inside. You can see there's very few people. You can see that there is a very tall. Uh, tiefling man, very lanky, dressed in some expensive yet dirty-looking robes, uh, but with well-kempt medium-length hair, a broken horn, and a jeweled neck piece. And as he sees you walk in, he gives a cordial bow to greet you and speaks with a very soft, airy voice. 
Ah, greetings, traveler. I am Isaac, mayor of Viserli. Uh, welcome to our humble oh. little town. What brings you so far off the main road? Here you may see the portrait of him. Huh. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> our bowl. My lord. Guys. He looks <laughs> fine. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I, I, He's I'm fine. Just, I'm, I'm just breathing not heavily, that's all. <laughs> It's a pleasure to meet you, almighty mayor. Oh, uh, mighty. Why, thank you. We're looking for, uh, a, I think, a grandma. Is that right? He looks over to Buck. No. No, no, no. 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 Try We're again. looking for the, the family of Koryak, the dragonborn. Uh, we battled him briefly in Satya, in a friendly way, of course. Uh, and he re requested that we transmit something to his loved ones out in this region. Oh, a dragonborn. Well, there yes. there is one dragonborn resident. Her name is Piria, and she's the town's local tinkerer. She keeps things up and running and helps out any traveling mineral farmers coming to and from uh, Pelutrios. Excellent. Uh, is there a visit. chance... I, I don't know how long we're going to be here, but is uh, could we maybe put some rooms on layaway in case that becomes necessary? I mean, I, I, I guess I, we didn't discuss... I'll look around at my computers. I, I know we didn't discuss uh, staying here for, or nothing, but... Oh, I don't really well, of course. We have plenty necessary. of rooms open, as there's always need of people staying here overnight sometimes. Uh, we have very few residents who stay here much longer than a few nights, so we have uh, recently expanded our inn, so there's definitely mm -hmm. going to be room for you. Probably. Question, DM. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm misremembering, but wasn't one of his family members a painter? Uh, yeah, uh, I have notes about this, actually. Uh, he wanted us to commission a painting of his mom and brother mm -hmm. um, to, I think, bring back to him. I think no, member? not anyone no. specifically. He just was like, hey, can you get someone to paint oh, a portrait awesome. and send it okay. back? Yeah. Um, excuse me, Mr. Mayor, do you know any, are there any painters in this town? Oh, we have plenty of people coming from Pelitrios, and uh, that place is full of the arts. I'm sure you could find somebody nearby. Just asking around, they might actually be hacking away at some of the minerals. It makes for a very beautiful pigment sometimes. Ooh, intriguing. So do you do you run the town and also this tavern, or is you just filling in for somebody? Or I mean, how? Do you... In a sense, I am designated mayor, but honestly, this place it's more like a family. We don't often trade coin with each other, only with those who come outside and have need to trade things with us. Really, uh, oftentimes I try to provide what I can for the locals and. They do the same for me. We take care of each other. How reasonable. Mm. Yeah, good, good. Um, well, uh, um, <laughs> we're, we're going to just go. Uh, Thank you for your assistance. Thank we'll you for your assistance. See you, see you, yeah. He gives a smile and a little <laughs> bo uh, bow. <laughs> you okay, Buck? Hey, uh, no, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, no, 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 sorry. You just, you, uh, very golden eyes, I just happened to notice. <laughs> Lyra, d do you notice the surprising amount of metal people walking around here? Um, had I noticed that? <laughs> you do see a few Warforged um, around, uh, specifically ones working at the kind of ore deposits as, and uh, crystal deposits that you see kind of further south at the town. Um, they do seem as though they are self-aware. They talk and chat and take breaks every now and then. Huh. Your guess is they, just as the mayor said, are probably from Pelitrios as well, which, if you remember from the previous session, has a large uh, Warforge population. Right. And okay. that's also the place with all the artists that we want to talk to, so. Hmm. Well, perhaps we can impose upon one of them to acquire the portrait that Koryak requested. I'd imagine that's possible. Mm. It's uh, just an interesting town. I feel like there's Shall something we... to learn from here. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, slight retcon, the, the mayor would have given you directions to the tinkerer's house, which would have been over here. Thank you, Mr. Oh, mayor. Okay. Thank you. The one with the two dogs. <laughs> the, one with, the one with the little anvil on it and the, uh, yes, good. the wind director thingy. 
They know science. Weather vein? <laughs> weather, science. yeah, sure. The veiny weather. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna walk past the well. Or did you want to look at the well when we walk past it? I am going to look in this well. You're going to look in that well. How are you looking in that well? What are you looking for? Uh, uh, all the gold coins that everyone puts in there. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's a long way down, friend. I can climb. A perception for okay. me. Okay. I'm begging you, oh, please boy. don't jump into the well. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure we can retrieve him. Would you look at that? (laughs) You squint your eyes and peer down into the well. You do see something glistening at the bottom. It seems like water, perhaps. (laughs) It seems as though not just a a a liquid glisten like you. That's very distinct. Um, Perhaps something of value down there, and. Fascinating. You can also uh, tell would you, that it is a you forty way, forty foot way oh, down. Uh, okay. Mm. I, I give what, you my what coat. What am I holding? My fancy coat. Oh, okay. not even a rope. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we have a rope. Oh. we have rope. Yeah, there was rope in the I, part. Okay, I do have a rope. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> All right, Buck, hold this. Uh, I, I really think this is a bad idea. We just got here, and you're gonna and jump here in the well. And here I go. Oh no! Here we go. <laughs> you jump down into the well as your voice echoes throughout the stone walls Ooh. around you, and you can see that a few civilians at the side are giving you a strange eye, as like, what the heck are they doing? They don't I'm holding slowly apart. I'm gonna make an acrobatics check to see if I can do a little, a little fancy flip okay. as I fall. Okay. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's well, one of those was a crit. <laughs> one of them was a crit. Uh, chat can't see it. Sorry, chat. Uh, the, Here's the first one. The roll is blocked by the level. Uh, he rolled a 19 on the first perception, a 21 on the second mm. one, a nat 20 on the acrobatics, uh, which went to and a 26, an and then a You're 13. You're gonna really impress time. whatever fish are living in there. Mm. I will you say do, with like, that the acrobatics, impossible thing. I would have actually <laughs> asked for an acrobatics, but with that acrobatics, actually, I would say <laughs> that you make it kind of down to the very bottom where you find the, the groundwater without hurting Da-da-da. yourself, luckily. Da-da-da. All right. And you can see um, that at the bottom there are a few coins sitting, as uh, have been tossed in probably for wishes, probably by mistake. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I cast press to digitation to do like a little. Uh, like chime music, just that congratulates me for, for performing that way. And then I'll, I'll, I'll grab up all the little coins. Okay, you're gonna grab a couple of coins. Make me a wisdom save. Yes! Okay. Yes! Oh, saving throw. My goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, 19. Hey, hot I, can, tonight. I can't goodness. be stopped. How is your wisdom so good? Boss, boss, boss. You just jumped boss. out a well. I know how to tell people what to do. You oh, reach out at the coins, you grab them up. And as soon as your hand touches one, you hear a voice kind of echoing in your mind. Oh, Lord. (laughs) Oh, now that's very interesting. And that's all you hear before you have collected about 15 gold pieces worth of coins. That was very interestingly worth it. Buck, pull me out of here right now, please. (laughs) I'm assuming I can hear him. Uh, I start yeah, yanking it down like twice. <laughs> all right, all right, I get it, I get it. <laughs> I scramble up like a blue belly lizard. <laughs> okay. I didn't you like make it, it up there. before the end of the rope. I didn't have to hold the rope at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was a security. I, I, I take my coat back. <laughs> oh yeah. Just a go. just a routine well inspection, everybody. <laughs> just don't mind us. We're just did you have fun? Well, uh, was- did. There's definitely no ghosts down there. When you, well, that's good to confirm. <laughs> Word, when you reach for the coat from Fritz, Fritz, you see that his hand, his little claw, for a brief moment mm-hmm. flashes as if it were made of gold. Oh. As, if his in, as if the entirety of his scales had shimmered in the sun for a brief moment. I got the mightiest touch. Give me my coat, please. Mm. Um, sure, sorry, just a bit dazzled there for a second. I am pretty, uh, Ornate. All right, I'm going to look for the person we actually came here to find. <laughs> Good luck to whatever situation Warren just got himself into. <laughs> so, yeah, you can follow the directions down to the Tinkerer's house. And you can see uh, kind of hammering it away at uh, a few things. You can see that there is a dragonborn there. Uh, a white dragonborn who 
bears a striking resemblance to Koryak. Huh. You can see that they've got uh, white scales with red-tipped horns and a red-tipped nose uh, kind of spike as well, just like Koryak. Ooh. I'm uh-huh. excited. I'm excited. I, I imagine I'm doing my little hops in my place. <laughs> I'm about to deliver something. Finally, it's been so long. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, hello, would you be Cecilia? Vasily, is it Cecilia? Vis- I think Vasily is the name of the town. Uh, I don't think we got the name you of the You didn't get the name. No, no. Oh, no yes. um, my bad. Would you be uh, related to Koryak? And you can see the dragonborn turn to you, and she's... Feeling her character portrait. Yeah! She speaks yeah. up. Yeah. Ooh. And she says, Koryak, pearly dragonborn, red to point tees like mine. Yes. Aye. Quite similar, yes. Oh. Hmm. And why would he be interested in a dragonborn such as I? Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, we were meant to he has a delivery for you. Well, was it for them? Was it for them? Yes. Okay, um, just double check. Uh, for me? Yeah, from them. You would happen to be related to him, correct? Yes, uh, we, yes, we just established that. I, I oh, guess yes. in some ways, yes. Uh, then great. Could you sign down on this piece of paper and I have a piece of uh, a delivery <laughs> for you? <laughs> Very well. And she kind of takes a quill and signs the sheet of paper that the delivery has been made. May I inca- uh, inquire the nature of your relationship to him? He said he had family here, but was not particularly specific. Uh, yes, uh... He would. Um, well, I guess he used to call me his brother at some points. Um, Peria, it's uh, nice to finally be in contact. Huh. Yes. Um. I'm just a bit taken aback is all. It's just I've not what? heard from him in God knows how long. He left, left home last decade to try and become a pilgrim, and after waiting and waiting for him to come, he never returned. He never well, wrote, he, is... he never sent word, he never even replied to any of the mails Ma and Pa and, and I sent him. Well, he has been working quite hard in an attempt to become a pilgrim. Uh, as to the rest Maybe of it, I'm afraid I can't speak to it. His butt. I doubt that would have affected anything in the previous decade. Regardless, oh, that's uh, he did express a desire uh, to acquire a portrait uh, he specified of his mother and brother to bring back I assume you are going to be, you are intended to be the subject of that as well. Oh, and sh- she just kind of looks at the little figure that you gave her. Uh, well, the thing is, everything's so different now. Everything's kind of moved on without him. I've, yes. I've transitioned. I've got a new job. Mum and dad have decided to retire and travel. And all those friends who used to live here, I don't even know where they went. It's just... Everything's changed. I I don't even know, think I know him anymore. And uh, I don't really resent him for any of it, really. Things happen, and I want to presume what troubles he's been through. I just... He, he's not really in my life anymore, you know? And now yes. he sends me something that really tells me that he doesn't know me anymore. What do I do with that? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> What does the Somebody else say it. Tag in. Tag in. I died. <laughs> what does the carving mean? If you don't mind me inquiring. Well, I'm this carving the was carving. when I was yeah. uh, a child, and he referred to me as his brother. And I guess in some ways I was at one point. But so he isn't aware that you are now his sister. I see the difficulty. I presume not. He also is probably not aware that mum and dad are not here anymore. No, he seemed rather confident that we could find them here. Uh. Well, I mean, and I I don't mean to be presumptuous here, but at least it seems like, although perhaps he's going about it a little bit too late, he is trying to make some sort of effort to retain contact. I mean, this tells us that in some way he's thinking about you. She just kind of scratches her head a little bit, but uh, should I? I don't know, I've just sort of moved on without him. 
I suppose it's entirely your own decision, but if you yeah. do have something that you'd like us to convey back to uh, back to him, we can certainly do that. Uh, she takes no a seat pressure, down obviously. on her anvil and puts down what she was tinkering with, and she just um, looks to you all. You're the pilgrims, aren't you? Yes. That'd be us. Uh, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> So he's going to spend another ten years over in that highland, then. Oh boy. <sighs> yeah, well, probably. But that does seem to be a uh, kind of how he's chosen to live his life. I, in in, I'd presume a similar vein to yourself. Um, I mean, did you ever? You said you tried to keep in contact with him. Aye, but I presumed he was too busy. But ten years. What Pilgr mailing <sighs> service did you use? <laughs> Fritz, not right now. <laughs> well, clearly they're doing a bad job. Well, perhaps you can take it all, uh, take it up with the Lord of Politrios. I'm sure he'd be happy to fix up their mailing system. They're always mm. working on something new. Huh. But well, what do you... I don't know. What would you do, pilgrims? Family that's not family anymore. I mean, mm. what do you call that? Someone who just doesn't return your messages or maybe miss them and it's just kind of out of your life now well if they're not asking anything from you I'd say um, they're their own people now I mean the the what family is changes over time you know you're able to make your own family and I trust that he's got his own so it is a bit confusing that that now he's trying to contact you I mean maybe he feels alone <sighs> I, I, I wouldn't know it's possible that his loss to us in the qualification round caused him to reevaluate certain priorities, but I obviously can't speak to that with certainty. I wouldn't say that a cry for help at this point, you know, ten years later is very appropriate. Mm. Mm. Well, look, I mean, it makes perfect sense to me that someone would want to go out and forge their own path, but at the end of the day, things... I, I think you can get so far removed so into yourself that you kind of forget you know, the reason that you left some of the things behind and so much time can kind of recontextualize what at least was important. And however small it may be, this might be a step he's taken after realizing that it maybe being a pilgrim isn't in the cards. And I'm sure he's trying to reach back to make good with someone that he lost touch with, so... You know, I, 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 I think my my honest opinion would be that clearly you're a different person than you were back then. And I'd imagine he is too. And if he's trying to meet you on a new level as a new person, then the least you can do for him is meet him there and just see where it goes. She wow. smiles a little bit at that. Well, he's all but a stranger now to me, but it seems as though you seem to know a little bit about this reconnecting business. <laughs> Uh, I just have estimates. I have guesses. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, pilgrims. After all, you did come all this way at his behest. She kind of holds the figure close to her chest and pockets it. Thank you. Of course. Perhaps I, I will. Didn't you want, like, a painting or something? Uh. I think a painting at this point probably wouldn't do justice to... Yeah. The communicate. I mean, maybe if if you're not willing to go and see him because it appears you're busy, Fritz here is a, could deliver a letter or something. Of course, I and I am a fantastic artist. I <laughs> oh, to add actually. Uh, mm -hmm. I think this would be a really good opportunity to introduce yourself. I mean, hey, what big brother doesn't want a little sister to dote on? I know I would be <laughs> so happy to find out I have a sister. Hmm. Yes, I I believe. As I understand it, it is in the nature of relationships to change over time, and though contact can it's be lost, it can also people. be... Yes, mm -hmm. of course, and though contact can be lost, it can also be reestablished. Neither of you are the same as you will remember each other, but I suppose lacking the intervening ten years of context, it could be an exciting rediscovery. And memories suck anyway. Yes, I suppose that is also a factor. <laughs> Mine does fail me sometimes. You can be my little sister. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse? Well, I appreciate the offer. Um, 
<laughs> what exactly does this Koryak do now? Last I heard, he was doing in the mercenary business. He's been helping uh, out in the fields. Uh, yeah, he and I kind of worked together a couple times, you know, for, for at least... I don't Is know that how a long common thing in your field of work? <laughs> what? Are you asking what? me? Yeah, asking Buck. About what? Working in the field? Like, like, like in your literal field of work? Is everyone there just like ex mercenaries? <laughs> were you making a Were you making a pun? I don't really understand. I, you. I mean, I I realized I made a pun and then I built off it, but the question I, still stands. I am, like, is I, everyone out there just really proficient with throwing look, knives and stuff? Look, no, that's did I did I ask Sachi the wrong? Beware, <laughs> the farmers so, are deadly. Genuinely, <laughs> I have and I recognize, and I'm sure the three of you recognize that I have a set of skills that is helpful in fighting others, but I, there's good, honest work to be made in every town, and that just happened to be where I have fallen, and where Koryak has fallen, where perhaps maybe what we would have aspired to didn't really work out, and so we work in the field, you know, we, there's, it's good, honest work that keeps, <laughs> keeps you honest, and you can make a living that way, and that's what Koryak was doing, at least to my knowledge. We're talking about so much. <laughs> well. My best friend Koryak. Yeah. Oh, That's really nice. Yeah. Well, he if is, he is yeah. if he is doing farm work, as you say, then I guess there is more that I need to learn of him as well. Hmm. hmm. All right, pilgrims. I do. He said he wanted a a, a portrait. I do have one that uh, illustrates my blueprints. I will have them perhaps tomorrow, if you'll still be hmm. around for that. Yes, I believe we can arrange that. Yeah. Very well then. Yeah, we're not. Thank you for helping me reconnect. Well, the hard work is yet to come, but best of luck. Well, if there's anything else, I do provide services. I saw that you uh, came in on that cart over there. I can fix it up if you like, and you can see that there are services that she can provide. Cart reinforcement, uh -huh. crystal enhancement, lantern of true sight, and oh, other oh. Uh, things just... Uh, materials she sells as well, including viscerally crystals and graviton wrenches. Yeah, Lantern of True Sight anything. would be so cool. How much Ugh. money do we all have? I have like 163 gold. I'm oh my god! Like, wow. I don't, I don't. I don't spend it on things. Uh. I think I might have given all my money to someone else. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I think oh, you gave no, some, some to Buck. Yeah. I have some. I have 143 written down on my. Okay, all right, we're how, like halfway there. Poor. <laughs> I have a, we could get the I crystal enhancements. You brought an establishment word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she sees you guys it's fiddling, actually with, that I'm fiddling <laughs> with your coin. Well, if you yeah. can't afford it, then perhaps I can give you a discount for a task for a task. Favor for a favor. Ooh, what sort of favor? Well, uh, our local protection, as it were. A uh, man by the name of Grumble. Uh, that's just what mm. we call him. We don't know his actual name. Uh, has mm -hmm. been having trouble with uh, keeping the patrol around the town, keeping it protected. We have our own private uh, means of protecting ourselves with an invention he made, actually. A bunch of sentries made from the crystals we mine here. But he's been losing some, and uh, if it eats in too much, we'll have to eat into our reserves for more protection. But I don't know the details of it. If you want, you can talk with him. Maybe do us a little bit of a favor. We could possibly give you a discount on the lodging as well. How well we're gonna be here anyway, so, I mean, where can we find this grumble? Uh, she just kind of looks over the corner of her house and uh, points over to a fearbolg man, kind of short, burly, with a massive beard that's very unkempt, and he seems to be exchanging very few words to a lizard folk who is talking his ear off, and he's just kind of grumping. <laughs> <laughs> So we're supposed to talk to this man. Uh, yeah, he's a... Uh, he gets his point across, trust me. Very well. Oh and boy. thank you again. Of course. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes. All right. Shall we skedaddle? Yeah. And you walk on over to the Fearbolg man, named Grumble. So you walk on over to a Fearbolg man, uh... He's very burly, unkempt facial hair, as described, scars and bruises all across his arms and a massive shovel in his hand, and uh, two kind of just rocks of crystals at his flanks. Um, and next to him is a very ornate-looking lizard folk woman 
who is just, just talking his ear off. And you just hear a lot of uh, unkind words, his way will say, Aww. before she storms off and seems to go pester somebody else. And you see the man known as Grumble. I think he left her, her <laughs> portrait. Uh, no visible facial features, <laughs> just how I like him. It's the dad from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. He's also the dad from, uh, oh God, what was that? It's got the fish boys in it. You know the one. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Bu- 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 yeah, that one. Silenzio oh, Bruno. On. Yeah, Luca. Luca. Yeah, Luca, thank you. Yes, that's the one. Uh, Specific yes, genre of dad. He sees you approach <laughs> and just gives a simple gruff. Mm. A pleasure to meet you, mm. sir. Mm. We're going to need to use real words yeah. at some point, everybody. <laughs> oh, sorry. I uh, <laughs> think we had a, a, a question for you, my friend. Mm. Question? Yes, we were directed your way. Um, we were informed that perhaps you were in need of some assistance with some crystal automatons that were going missing. Mm. Sentries patrol the area. Whereabouts? Mm. Around the place. Most of the time, Peria fixes them up again if they get smashed, but some of them smash too good, too regularly. Don't know why. Running out of disposable crystals. Too busy fixing things myself to divide my time. Got some... So they're being which, damaged by something. Not just damaged, destroyed. I see. Not uncommon. Works out there. A lot sometimes. But these, too destroyed. Do you know where they are most commonly being so thoroughly devastated? Mm. He marks down a kind of route that he sends them on patrol around your map, and he just, like, whistles, and you can see the crystal rocks. They're kind of like boulders at his side just start to roll down the route. Not hover, roll, leaving behind a little (laughs) trail and bumps and kind of occasionally bumping into each other. Huh. Lose track, follow him. Th- right. th- thank you. <laughs> I suppose we shall do that. Hmm. Get this done. I'll give you something special. Actually, get it fixed. Give you something extra special. I can't oh, wait. Special things. Much All right, obliged. shall we follow those rocks? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and this will be I like this town. <laughs> a skill challenge, the investigation oh of the crystal sentries. Oh, boy. Ooh. And uh, oh, if no, everyone could skills. select their token and give me an initiative real quick. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm remembering the buttons. Yeah, yeah. Did mine roll? No. Uh, Where is my initiative hiding? There we go. Oh. Ah. Right, Hell. so that's where it's hiding. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> what a great initiative. Okay. It's, it's good to have a wide spread. We're covering our bases. <laughs> but yes, you begin your, your investigation of the mysterious crushings of the crystal sentries that protect Viserly. You know the path, so you can use that information to your advantage. You know that uh, it keeps getting destroyed in generally a similar area every single time, um, kind of halfway through the patrol route at the furthest part of the town, but that's all you got. Buck! Aww. How do you I w- wish to... Pre- also, uh, with five successes, you will find enough clues not to know exactly what happened, but enough clues that you could possibly maybe piece them together and find out maybe the path of what has happened. Uh, but with three failures, you will perhaps be left with less information. You won't... It, it is going to be... So success, I'm going to give you information. Failure, I'm not going to give you information, basically. Hmm. Got it. Can I, um, I want to use investigation, even though I'm not very good at it, mm-hmm. but I would like to maybe use one of, one of the uses, or maybe even all of the uses, of my magic awareness uh, feat for being a wild path barbarian. Ah, magic awareness. May I see it? Uh, yeah, let me see if I can. So that I may be reminded of the details. Uh, that's magical. You awareness. know the location of any spells or magic items within 60 feet of you that isn't behind total cover. 
When you set the spell, Ooh. you learn the school of magic it belongs to. You can use this feature. Okay, you know that there's actually quite a few magic items uh, around here, uh, including the shovel that uh, Grumble has. Uh, seems to be magical. There is a wand on the um, the uh, lizard folk lady. Lizard folk. Uh, just look. Just w this is what you would glean from walking around the town, as I presume you're doing. <laughs> Well, um, yeah, so so it, I think how it works is it kind of just sends out like a pulse, like a radar. Like oh. I don't get to, it's not like it's not like constantly active. So what I was going to do is get into go to a place where uh, like maybe if there's something weird, I can while I'm investigating, I can maybe use some pulses of that. I have three per long rest mm -hmm. to try and maybe glean a little bit of information. I'm sorry. Is the first part of this challenge just following those rocks, uh, or is that part chill? That like part's sort of... chill. That's just information. Okay. He's like giving you. He's showing where the rocks go, so you know the route. I see. Oh, I thought we were going. In, you're saying that we can investigate around the town. Yeah, is that, any like... way you so wish to find clues. Just the okay. information that you have is that um, the route of which the rocks take on their patrol. And um, where I they have see. been vanishing. Okay. Yes, I, would uh, I wanted to know where they where they've been getting wrecked. Uh, they I, seem. I suggest they seem to be getting go. wrecked about three fourths of the way down. Uh, no, halfway down the route where they would be the furthest uh, from uh, Viserly and near the main road to Politrios. Gotcha. So basically, that part of the route isn't visible on the map we're currently seeing. No, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just abstract theater of the mind. I would like to go to that location and then use my pulse and also just kind of generally look around. Ah, okay. So no skill check for this one because this I feel like this magical awareness thing would just tell you this information. And you <laughs> find um you do find a magic item, specifically a magic component. You see hmm. um kind of in the area, you see almost like it's buried in the dirt somebody wanted to hide this thing is a magical component it looks to be a small rock of amber color and encased inside is uh, of the kind of crystalline rock is a single long eyelash mm. hmm. and I will okay. count that as a success because you just found the information we found right. a spell component for something mm -hmm. eyelash in amber okay. that, that's way too specific that that feels like it's no. useful. Yeah. Oh, drat. I don't know if I have enough spells. Uh, no. You don't have to use I, I spells. Know. You can use No, I, it's more like I, the, like there are spell components, but I don't ah. know if I would be familiar, like if I could like make yeah. some kind of check, but my arcana is really low. So I, I don't know if I would be able to Recall be like, hey, wait a minute. Right. Yeah, like if I would know if I would know the spell that this highly specific component would be used for, I'm just like looking through my spell list see, for like what the components are. Okay, well then Fritz, it's your turn. Yes. Uh, I would like to go down to, just to make sure it's kind of like down here-ish off to the side, right? Mm -hmm. I would like to go down here and could I use my investigation to ask if people have seen like it happen and to describe it if so? Hmm. Would that be investigation? I wonder. I don't know if that would be investigation. I think that would be more like just a general charisma check. All right. Um, just talking with people. Uh, so roll charisma? Mm-hmm. Because I don't think that would be a persuasion. They'd happily give out the information. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. Well, now they're more oh, than diggity. happy. So I'm just kind of asking if they've seen it, and if so, to explain, like, what they saw and how it happened. Hmm. They do know that um, somehow, uh, like people talking around, you get eyewitnesses that have been saying that every time they go around, uh, the patrol sentries, the p sentry crystals go around mm -hmm. that area that they suspiciously get essentially vaporized, um, there is a loud banging noise, like massively loud, not as if it was done with any physical object. It must have been done with something magical. That is what everyone believes. Everyone also is gossiping and saying that they really, really don't like the lizard folk lady that's just around and has been, that's just general mm. gossip. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Ooh, juicy. <laughs> we don't like her. We don't like the Karen okay. lizard. Uh, are there, like how much, this is like a really little small town, like mm -hmm. just place where the roads Very are a little small. thicker. How, 
how like how many just animals are around have been acclimated to the presence of the town and the people? Um, Ooh. Um, you could probably find the odd like woodpecker here and there. Um, there are quite a few birds. Not awesome. a lot of a lot of like ground scampering because people walk around a lot and uh, have been hitting the right. ground a lot. Uh, maybe a few burrowers every now and then as there are you know caves and stuff. But uh, cool. I think I'd like to range out a little bit, basically where, like, however far I need to get from the the route that the automatons take to get near something uh, that is an animal that might have seen it. And I would like to cast speak with we animals. We can do and that on your turn. Talk to them. Oh no! I'm so sorry. <laughs> I forgot my initiative is so shit. That's okay. <laughs> ah! But Fritz, uh, we're gonna count that as a su success. You learn that uh, whatever has been breaking them has been something magical and powerfully magical that has been breaking them. Not a natural occurrence of some kind. Perhaps some foul play. Hmm. Word. I'll go ahead and make an arcana check to try and figure out what that is a spell component for. All right, yes. let's see. Recall yes. that information. Do what I cannot. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, that could be oh. anything. It's, a, it's certainly a spell uh, component that you've seen in some pouches. Rock. Oh, can I, 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 I reiterate the gossip, like, by the way? Did I reiterate that taste? to them? Oh, yeah, you can. You can share that information oh, with word the Word, come here, my gossip, gossip buddy. My gossip buddy. I got some juicy for you. <laughs> What's going on? You see the, the, you see the, the dragon lady who was shouting earlier? Uh-huh. People don't really like her for some reason. Is that the one that we just talked to or the one from earlier? This is the uh, lizard lady. We, we lizard didn't, yeah, we didn't really oh. talk to oh, her. Oh, okay. The dragon lady's good. The lizard lady is the one that nobody likes. Mm -hmm. Oh, my okay. bad. All good. Um, but yeah, that's going to be one failure and two successes. Uh, three more successes, you'll get all the information. Two more failures, and you will be left with the information you have. No. It's uh, it's orange and there's an eyelash. I think it might be fireball because like uh, <laughs> you can see a fireball and you look at the world through your eyelashes. That doesn't sound right, but I don't know enough about fireball to dispute it. Okay, Lyra. So kind of orange. So you yes. wish to find some animals? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I would love True, to do right. that, and then I would like to cast speak with animals and uh, have a little chat. If that's okay. Okay. Ask them about the lizard lady. Speak with animals. I'm gonna just... make that. What are you asking specifically? Um. Well, let's see. S speak with animals. Uh. How long is it? Oh, it lasts ten minutes. I can ask a bunch of things. Um. <laughs> uh. Admittedly, it does depend on how smart the animals are. Uh. <laughs> mostly just like anything weird been happening out here. Any any like notice anything? I've heard there's been a lot of scary noises. You see anything about that? Uh. Yeah, That's so the okay. animals do confirm the scary noises keep happening. Um, just about like every like week or so, they seem to happen. Every um, week or so. Every week or so. Not consistently a week, but on average, once a week. And mm -hmm. they seem to coincide with uh, very specific footfalls as well that uh, the animals say it's always the same footsteps every single time. Footsteps? Uh... Someone... Do they sound like they... Oh, go on. Well, I was going to ask if they sounded like they belonged to a biped or a quadruped or something else. Definitely biped. Big like you, they say. All right. Probably a person. Doesn't narrow it down very much, but good to know. Um, okay. So roughly once a week, a biped wanders around out here, makes a lot of noise, and does something very, very loud to those automatons. Yeah. But they say mm -hmm. whenever uh, anyone, like some of the birds, fly up to see where the noise came from, there's nobody there. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna say that's gonna be success number three. Oh, goody. I was gonna ask if any of them had an exceptionally good sense of smell, but I can do that mm -hmm. like, myself, Buck, that's fine. <laughs> back to you. Um, can I, can I get an idea of like what's going on with like these crystals? Like I'm confused about like the crystals and the Warforged, uh, like the relationship to one another. I think that mm -hmm. might have something to do with it, um, because they keep putting crystals in. Can I just like do some general research gathering about like the crystals? 
Yeah, if you want to roll me like a intelligence, just a straight intelligence. Oh, yeah, sure. Because <laughs> that's what I present. Oh as my god! Gathering. No, that's a save, not a oh, check. It doesn't. Matter. Oh, what's your it's bonus? Oh, it's it 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 the bonus. The it's minus one. Okay. It's minus one. Well, you know that these crystals <laughs> probably can be used for some kind of magic. Uh, you can see that the <laughs> the <laughs> crystal sentries that are rolling around that uh, Grumble has sent out are made of the same material as uh, the crystals from these veins and ores. Word word has like the amber thing like in his mouth and I'm like licking on a crystal <laughs> and trying to like it, it discern what's going on with these. Something magical happened. Here. The pilgrims these, of Sachi. These crystals don't taste very good. <laughs> sure like a honey. <laughs> so that is going to be two just, failures. Like, organics. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Fritz, your turn. Um hmm, mm. So it's something magical. Um, no one is around when it happens, and people really don't like that lizard for some reason. Yeah, did she they does give me a like reason or just say they one. don't like him? Uh, I would say you can make me another charisma check. To, actually, no charisma check needed. Um. Uh. People don't like her. You, <laughs> people don't like her. No charisma check needed. This is just general information. They say that she visits uh, regularly trying to sell something, um, but uh, specifically to Grumble, but Grumble doesn't want to buy it. Hmm. Hmm. Do I smell a protection racket? Hmm? I'm going to ask Grumble more detail on what specifically she's trying to sell, if that's okay. Yeah. Uh, when you ask him, he just gruffs. Hmm. Soldiers. Soldiers. Mercs. Paid out. Protection racket. Trevisetta, businesswoman. Don't like her. Trevisetta! <laughs> Not Trevisetta again. You're telling me the Our bad guy place. empire continues to be was, bad? Was that my no my turn or? It was not. Turn? It was not your turn. That's information that can freely be given just by asking. Where Where is she? She is over here. Uh-huh. I would like to mosey on over and be like, words in the book, you provide protection. Hmm. <laughs> I would say this is going to be your skill challenge for your yeah. turn, and that's a persuasion because she is not disinclined Ooh. to talk to you. She's, Did you she's... say words on the buck? Is that what you words said? on the block. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm joking. Not me. Not, not really. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, <laughs> what word and buck do on their spare time is nobody's and... business but their own. She, no, no. she simply turns up her nose, looks the other way. I do not fraternize with commoners. Hit her, Fritz. <gasps> no. <laughs> Commoner. And that is going to be the end of the skill challenge because that is three uh, failures. And that is uh, the information you get from the... the imp- Information that you would glean from skill challenging stuff. Good work, everybody. So does this mean that I'm actually just out and about by myself and everyone else is hanging out in the town square? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. More or less. Yet. Perfect. <laughs> I have no idea we failed the skill challenge. I'm still talking to the birds. <laughs> Word and I are examining our rocks. Yeah, we're, we're licking these rocks. We're trying to figure out what's going on. But yes, uh, this is the information um, that you are given. Uh, so the biped, big or very big? <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to glean from a squirrel where everything is big. <laughs> um, word. Maybe we should go and find. Oh, Fritz, there you, there you and are. The smell. She's gross rude. or real gross. Have you guys seen Lara? Where? Uh, I don't know where <laughs> she is. Uh. I don't know. I was I was just really interested in this rock. I couldn't get anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's go find Lara. I think. That would <laughs> just probably full be Disney bad. princess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stop shouting, Lara! Lara! Oh no. Lara! <laughs> well, all the birds are flying away now. <laughs> Where are you? We're coming. Look, a bunch of birds. She must be over there. <laughs> I'll race you to Lara. <laughs> <laughs> It. I'm tiny. That's not fair. Well, actually, I'm Wait, pretty fast. I can pick you up. Wait, come on. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. <laughs> I have the mobile feet. I, I rush. Oh, I, shit. I, I, oh, geez. I race. It. Oh, it's a you race a between the bigs and the smalls. Pond. How exciting. You know what? Am I about to be petty in this? 
<laughs> thinking about We're it. Gonna do don't do uh, it. We blew the skill challenge, may as well. <laughs> <laughs> what else is gonna happen this session? Probably yeah, nothing. <laughs> don't drop me. <laughs> You're okay, hold up, where is it? I'm losing my spells. Where is it? I swear I had What do you mean your spells? What are you gonna do? That's not fair, you're not allowed to use any spells. <laughs> Real quick, would I have been able to ask when the last time some of these things were destroyed was? Like, you know what? Yeah, I would say you can. A the information you gather from asking that, both from the animals and from Grumble, right. is that the last time one of these was destroyed was two days ago. Okay. Very recently. Very recently. Smells could still be lingering. Maybe. I, I just want an excuse to turn into a panther again, but we can wait. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, I do. I do have this. What if I just <laughs> long stride? <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> burn a spell slot to beat Buck in a race. Word, how badly do you want to beat this? I've never wanted anything more. <laughs> I'm go. I'm. I'm ahead of you. <laughs> if there's a bit, word I'm will long commit. Striding. We're I'm already committing to the there. bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys like rush past yeah. me like <laughs> so, so let's actually do the math here so we're backwards. this bumps up your base speed to 40 yeah y yeah and you can dash and bonus action dash yes so that's so 120 feet that's 120 per feet round. per six seconds buck is uh, there anything you i can, can do? i thought i, was I can go 50, 50 i can go 50 I'm, feet I'm is because i have mobile and okay. because i'm a barbarian so i have 50 As feet normal and you can dash, oh yeah i like take you and then i like but you can't you bonus action yeah. dash. No, you can do. You can action can dash, I, which bumps it to a hundred. Let me just see if anything in my wild shape, <laughs> rage or my Joe, wild. Oh you're my gonna, god! You're gonna take does my, my abilities too. I, I I'm think running some them, of them. them. At least mm -hmm. one of my thing lets me teleport. I guess I can rage <laughs> and attempt to do that. Where the is bit. where is a uh, the bit? The rage will only last for six seconds though, oh, because you're not gonna attack anything. Uh, well. I could attack something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're never getting invited back to this town. Shoot me down. I also have one that would slow you down if it was. If, I'm not going to rage. I will. I, I will <laughs> just I be outrun. I will be outrun by word. Do we find Lara? Are we able to? Get <laughs> yes. To I was yeah. having a very serious conversation with a cardinal. It's just like, oh yes, interesting. And then it immediately <laughs> flaps away as the rumbling of the earth comes by, and you can see the three, it's happening the three again. companions. Oh, I see. Those word, are my ideas. Word Good. like <laughs> word like comes through a bush and stops, and then Buck like stumbles in after and falls over on top. of him. <laughs> I take it your uh, investigation was productive. I win all the. Uh, I lo I won. I was. I Lara. I was quicker. I. Uh, so, out of breath. Interesting. You guys are unfit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> but I am mentally sound. What? I carried you half the way. Exactly. <laughs> so I've been discussing things with the locals. Uh, it seems as though roughly once a week, the automatons in this area are destroyed by an invisible biped creating a loud noise. I haven't been able to glean further details. Cardinals are not known for their observational skills, uh, but they are very dedicated to the cause of justice, which is always nice to see. Uh, word and I found a rock. Yeah, there was like this one rock that was really cool, and then I found this other rock that was pretty interesting. And, uh, yeah. I see. That was a rude lady. <laughs> so Excellent work, everybody. It hurt my feelings. It was a rude lady. <laughs> Can I? It's a long shot. My arcana's really bad. Is there a chance I've seen this spell component before? It's so specific. Let me see. I'm going to look at the druid spell list, actually. Yes, you, yes. If it's a spell druids could learn, you might know. Give a quick glance to the barbarian spell list and see if I know <laughs> the spell. This, yeah, it's, uh, the only spell I know is hit things. It's a cantrip, and I can do it as many times as I want. <laughs> well, not as many times as I want. I want uh, to be doing it a lot more, but I can true, only yeah. do it a couple times. It is the barbarian's nature to try to be angrier than he is. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm excited. Ooh, this is cool. No, it is not no! a spell druids can learn. And there's well, absolutely no chance I'd have looked at anyone else's spell components at any point you know because what? then I would have had to deal with wizards. If you want, you can give me one last arcana check. I'll give it a shot. I can't fail the skill challenge more than we already have. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at. 
<laughs> How about a four? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know shit. <laughs> ah. mm, it's covered in cobalt spit. All right, you mm. can have this back. Uh, well, Lyra. <laughs> yes. You know what's a little little fishy? Hmm. Um, lizard lady. Very rude. She no. <laughs> um, they provide protection and keeps trying to sell protection to a uh, a buddy over there. Hmm. Sounds like she would have a vested interest in reducing the already extant protection of this town. Be warned, though, she doesn't talk to, and there's quotation marks, commoners. Interesting. But commoners do all the work for her. <laughs> yes, well. Uh, um, did you, Fritz, did you, t did you tell her that we're pilgrims? Why would I? I don't have to explain myself to someone I'm not like saying, her. I I, I'm no, not saying you do have fair. to. I just, that seems to be helpful to our cause most of the time. I so don't want to speak I don't, to her. I'm not... <laughs> Sorry, I'm pouting. No. Of no, it's here. okay. I mean, we don't have to talk to her. Yes. The most you recent attack was only two days ago. It seems unlikely that they would strike again so soon, which is unfortunate for us, because it means we might need to stake the place out longer than we wanted to in order to find anything out. But... Do you think that's the best course of action to stake out the place? Well, I wouldn't say that. I think the best course of action would be to get back on the road. However, I'm not in the habit of leaving people in distress if I can help it. We could ask yeah. her and use the fact that we're pilgrims and need protection. She might listen. It would be nice uh. to kind of shove it in her face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not certain that's a wisest course of action, but I suppose in absence of other leads we could attempt. Thoughts? Hmm. Oh, that's an interesting dilemma. I, I don't know what course of action we should take, but I think, you know, everywhere we visit, we should find a way to make a name for ourselves. Ah, I see. Because it seems like whatever this, this fucking Trevor Setter place is, um, is really trying to kind of undermine just the whole reputation of everything that we're doing. So if we can you know, have a little reputation, not even just for ourselves, but for our uh, the vocation everywhere that I think that's a good idea. Mm. Understandable. And Sorry, of course, I actually the... don't know what to do. No, that's, that's a good insight. Of course, the additional modifications to the cart would be very helpful in the future, considering the things we are liable to encounter out in the wastes. Well, we're not going to solve... I mean, I, I don't think we're going to be able to do much more today we could always try to we're gonna have to head back eventually anyway you know, i like, say we could go I, back and try i and think it would be cool mm -hmm. if we could get like those fancy shiny lights on the front of the cot before we figured this out so that way it like shines wards him off or something because it happens every night no matter what excuse me does it happen that, every uh, night one of the one of the upgrades no was it every night or every week well, it's, oh you're uh, talking about the the it's not upgrade a... To our yeah, 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 the thing that the fancy light that shines. But it's, would that deter magic? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. Doesn't that happen at night? Am I wrong? It does typically happen at night. I suspect the better solution would be to stake the place out. But we can do that too. We yes. uh, The card upgrades are promising. I especially find that. Uh, Lantern of True Sight would be extremely valuable. True Sight is a very difficult ability to acquire otherwise, and we would not want to be caught unawares in the wastes, but. What does True Sight do? You can see invisible things. Oh? Uh, yes. Uh, did. Uh, DM, did Grumble or anyone say, were, were they taking the crystals out of these things? No, they are made of crystals. Just imagine a boulder, oh. but it yeah. being slightly transparent and, you know, blue crystal-like and rolling around. Those are the sentries. So it gets smashed to oh. pieces and it can't be repaired because it's in bits. Yeah, it's in, like, little yeah. tiny, you know, dusty bits, which is beyond repair. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. Someone doesn't like... And are, are those crystals the sentries are made out of the same ones that are being mined? in the area? Yes, and Grumble has mentioned that um, they could make more, but they're going to have to eat into their reserves. Okay. So, right. do you so, think, I mean, I, I noticed that Pyrio was selling some of those crystals. Do we want to try and see if those crystals react to the 
I could we could buy some shards and see if they react to anything out there. I didn't think of that until just now, but Oh, some form of magical experimentation? Well, I'm uh, not entirely sure we're equipped for that, but No, I just mean like maybe if these sentries are rolling around that there's something that doesn't lack the crystal shards and we could kind of use the crystal shards to draw out whatever it is. Possibly, but considering it's... Yeah, we could it's, set up like a trap or something. Well, certainly we're going to set up a trap at some point, but because it's it's only happening once a week, roughly, that makes me think that whatever's reacting isn't just posted up out there waiting for something to happen. Mm. I think it's somebody going out invisibly and making an effort to destroy these things loudly and with this spell component that I cannot identify. I think it's a fireball. It certainly let's, could be. <laughs> let's let's go back and see, because I think we still haven't explored the lizard lady that Fritz was talking about, and maybe she'd be more responsive if it was all of us. Mm. Then perhaps. Or perhaps simply the only one of us who's good at talking to people in this context, Buck. Anyway, so you guys are going to go talk to the lizard folk, yes? You yeah. guys might be a strong Shit. phrase. Zero. <laughs> Okay. I've been doing so much socializing this session. Don't make me talk to the scary lady. <laughs> so, Buck, you, you go up to squirrels. To yes. the squirrels are great conversationalists. You go up to this very ornately dressed lizard folk woman um, who is adjusting her pearl necklace while seemingly talking down to this dwarf who sees you behind her and he just kind of like <laughs> giving you face signals like, please help me. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'll take I'll take my hat off and just kind of hold it, and then I'll just tap on her shoulder. And do, Pardon me, ma'am. She immediately jumps and just like, oh, how dare you sneak up on a Duchess of House Bastan? What are you doing here? What business have you? Duchess of House, what was that? And how do you spell it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm ten feet back. Yes, yes. Um, and you see I'm sorry. the uh, the lizard folk lady, which I will show the portrait of now. There I'll do be. like a little. I'll do like a little bow. <laughs> yeah, that's a lizard, mm, all right. Give me a performance check. Oh, I bet it's gonna be great. Let's... While he's bowing, I'm gonna use my uh, mage. Oh hand my god! Her pockets. I fall. <laughs> she looks like such an easy mark. I'm sorry. You're gonna pick her pocket. Okay. She's definitely a spellcaster. <laughs> Buck, you uh, do a out. little bow, and she just like, oh, do you call that a greeting? And word, I'm gonna need you to give me a sleight of hand check. Uh, oh! There we go. You <laughs> sneak into her pockets with your mage hand. You slide up. And you pull out the same amber stone mm. that was found when investigating the patrol route. So she does know fireball. <laughs> Well, that... I keep that to myself for now. Um, I'm sorry. It's uh, been a while since I've been in the presence of you, someone with such high standing of yourself. Um, and pray, why must I give you the time of day? Please hurry up. Speaking. Well, we are the pilgrims. Um. Good work, Buck. <laughs> we're the, we are the pilgrims, and we were told that there was a, a woman here of House Baztan that uh, would be in need of our services. Oh, the pilgrims from that washed town of such a... Yes, yes. <laughs> well, yes, everyone could use my services. I'm going to be staring daggers, how dare. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we just thought it would be prudent of us passing through on our journey to make your acquaintance and inquire as to if there's anything the pilgrims of such, uh, uh, well, the pilgrims of Alinthi can do to help. Mm -hmm. Pilgrims of Alinthi, not quite yet, no, is it? We're halfway there. We're a quarter of the way there. We're, we're on our way. Uh, well. So say it, you who's been nowhere. Uh, excuse me, young man. Oh I God, have sorry. been all across Alinthi. <laughs> And you would do well to watch your tongue. I am the Duchess of House Bastan, and I've traveled here to bless this poor little town. 
that is in desperate need of well-formed protection authority, and I aim to give it to them. Otherwise, they are subject to the dangers of the wilds, the brigands, the blot. I'm here to save them, even if it is from themselves. How generous of you. Uh, very noble. And so you require assistance as well? You require the need of my protection, of my guild? Well, let's not get hasty. We haven't exactly heard the most glowing reviews from the locals. Well, that's because they haven't been blessed with their presence yet. If only they would take the generous trial that I have given them. They would see how efficient the military of House Bastan can be. The trial? Why, yes, of course. For a small free fee of us taking over this town for a little bit of time, they can simply see, you know, without further charge, of course. Oh, that's very original. <laughs> Um, I have a question. What exactly? We're not none of us from this part of the world. What exactly? You mentioned some threats that this town faces in particular. What were those again? Yes, of course. The wilds, the wards that patrol the place, the blot. You I'll have you know world. that. Yes, of course. In fact, my house military, the, the defensive might of House Bastan, we have single-handedly held off the overwhelming flood of blot from the borders of Old Deosia. If not for us, the kingdom would have been overrun by those nasty things. So you're welcome. I'm amazed that you have manpower to spare, then, if the situation is truly so dire. Why, of course! Yeah, you know, looking around, I don't see any buildings collapsing or blot roaming around right now, so I think this this place might be fine. Oh, and you think that those dinky little crystals can protect you for long? Just look how much they have been stumbling and breaking over time. Hmm. Mm. That, this one looks... This one looks fine. <laughs> Well, it's only a matter of time. You see, I hear that they have been breaking down irreparable. You must be a remarkably patient woman to put up with such a town for so long. Why, of course. It's only a matter of time before they are consumed by the wilds, and I, the generous woman that I am, would loathe to see that happen to such a place with such potential. What sort of potential would that be? Oh, well, the crystals, of course. They uh. are used in Politrios's most advanced inventions and industry. Why, I believe that Lord Nicholas Torejo, the man, he can put them to better use than any of the people have been putting here. What do you use it for? Stumbling around like boulders, using them for irrigation. Lord Nicholas has larger plans. And has Nicholas, has he sent you here? Oh, to, no, to he did not send me behalf? here. I'm here of my own volition. I go where I please. But surely he knows you're here, oh. acting on his behalf. I'm not here on his behalf. No, I'm here on my own of House Bastan, the business that I own. Ah, well, he would be very pleased to hear about your presence, I'm quite sure. We actually just spoke to him recently. He gifted us this lovely cart. She looks over at the cart. Uh, uh, Lord Nicholas ah, gave you that. Nailed it. Why, yes. <laughs> well, it is absolutely garish. The color is off. And yeah. Would you, you stick insult like a something that someone <laughs> graciously gave to us? Um, <laughs> you would insult Lord Nicholas in front of us. Isn't that blasphemy? I, I, you blasphemy. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have no time for this. And she picks up her dress and just starts walking off, nose pointed towards the sky. Good work, team. Where's she going? She walks off kind Into of the direct, in the direction towards the main road. Where those things are getting ambushed? Maybe. Maybe. But it's also the main road, so. I well, suppose so. That, I feel like, wasn't very helpful. Um, hey, on Clark. the contrary, I think that was extremely helpful. Oh, that was so fun teasing her. <laughs> Buck, do you remember this tasty stone I was chewing on a minute ago? Uh, yeah, yes. I just got a second one, and you'll never believe where it came from. Oh, no. Uh, did you find That it? lady's pocket. Huh. And I hold up both of them, and I like, clink them together like eyeballs. 
Yep. Ah, yes, eyeballs, notorious for their clinking. Yeah, for clinking together. <laughs> yeah. You can see so that this is they only... do. They are of different shaped rocks, but inside the transparent amber-like crystals that they are, there are individual eyelashes of very, very similar length. Like, might as well being identical. For. Yeah. It's so, so it's obviously a movement. spell component. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's clear that she is in somehow involved in this. I think we've She's got enough for a, a motive for mayor? trying to break these things. And she's cast in some kind of fancy magic rock spell. Yes, something loud, but clearly not visually striking, or the birds would have noticed. It's almost like she's invisible. Well, uh, that part I was assuming. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Do you think that's what this rock is for? <laughs> Probably not, but you never uh, know. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> could we spend, like, now that it's like, wait, you could know it what? be for invisibility? You've got so many pieces <laughs> together. This is the casting component for invisibility. It is. It is! Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so the yeah. loud noise is unrelated to the amber. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, thunderclap, probably. Yeah, she could have, yeah. like, broken it with another spell. Yeah. Um, so, All right, I good mean, work, this is, So, so she, if she's becoming invisible, um, I mean, clearly she has some kind of motive to do this, but we don't have anything concrete. Um... My goodness, what that we lantern do? of true sight would be so useful in dealing with this situation. <laughs> we could just beat her up really, really bad. Uh, I believe that would be unwise. <laughs> uh, at least without provocation, plausible deniability, stuff like that. Uh, we're taking the legal route. All right, didn't you? Well, if she is in uh, good with Lord Nicholas, we wouldn't exactly want the first word of our exploits to be that we beat up one of his friends. Yeah, she also has an army, it sounds like. Like, I'm not trying to make this an international incident. Well, um, I don't see any army around here, but... <laughs> what if we wore masks? And did what? Beat her beat up. Beat her up. Okay, <laughs> that's what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> um, I don't know that beating up a woman of, like, a rich woman who owns an army is a smart idea, and... We, I, I don't we know how to say this. We could do a little She's... bit sneaky. I think you, the first thing we should do is inform the mayor and at least grumble. Well, that's yeah, what I'm saying. I, I the mayor, she's got to have Lyra. somewhere to stay, which most likely is the inn, right? The mayor might let us, you know, snoop around a bit if, you know, she's up to no good. That is possible. You know, this is, this is a little embarrassing, but I do have a oh. scroll of invisibility, and I'm reading right here that it uses these things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose it's all right that you didn't read the fine print before. <laughs> Let's tell Grumble. Yeah, I usually don't before I need maybe to tell the mayor, and then we'll kind of maybe see if we can get a little bit more information once they know that, mm. or see what their it thoughts are on the It is definitely strange she's going invisible. We don't know if it's her yet, but we'll see. I wrote you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll go to Grumble. Yes, I, I suppose yeah. we should go to Grumble first. Shall you talk with Grumble then? Yeah, let's do it. You can see that he is um, kind of fixing up another one of the crystal boulder sentries and uh, just making sure that it's all good and well and just kind of patting it, letting it roll off. And he sees you come back. Mm. Uh, yes. Hello. Uh, we've done a little investigation. Um... The exact mechanism is still unknown, but we have reason to believe Lucia, that... Uh, Lucia. What's her name again? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Lady Baztan is perhaps at least indirectly responsible for the destruction of the, destruction of the automata. Uh, we found a spell component identical to one belonging to her at the scene of the crime. Hmm. Always suspected she had something to do with it. No hard proof. This is unfortunately true. Hmm. What now? Then again, I suppose if the assailant is invisible, we can't possibly be held accountable for beating said assailant up without knowing that she's such an esteemed lady. Hmm. Well, she's caught in the head. That would almost certainly resolve the problem rather cleanly. Unfortunately, we might need to stake the area out for rather longer than we'd planned. Hmm. I got an idea. Oh? You think she really had something to do with it? I'll help out. Yeah. Oh. I'll make big sentry. Something you can't ignore. Some kind of a threat. Ooh. 
and we place like word it. inside of it. <laughs> and I just thought fire it. <laughs> anyway, I started blasting. Is that a serious <laughs> proposal? Um, uh, oh yeah, let's get word of how, many of our, how many of our explain? plants have been put word in something and throw it at the enemy? <laughs> Let him do whatever he does in there. That was not a serious proposal, at least not from Buck, no. Buck okay. will not propose to put word into the sentry. But will word propose? <laughs> hmm. Do you want to be inside this. of the explosion? Not particularly, no. Then but I would I'll, like I'll, to I'll, cause one. I have two <laughs> gemstones eaten out there. They're for, I would like to cause one. They're for snacking. Yeah. <laughs> Let's. I agree with the plan. I think making some sort of honeypot situation where they we try to draw her in and then try and catch her in red-handed makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Very well. I'll have something ready tonight. Big, right. posing a threat to her business. Excellent. Looking forward to it. Just like me. And we can figure out how we're going to shadow it without being very, very obvious in the process. Oh. You think maybe we could rent the lamp out? Rent the which? Hmm. The lamp. The one that uh, shows... The lamp on the... Uh, oh, the... the... Visible the... We could rent it for just this once, and then we'll get the favor, get it a little bit cheaper, and then we can buy it. Hmm. That's period. Yeah, it could be worth checking mm-hmm. for sure. So yes. we've got to see her do it, and if Are she's you... invisible, we can't see her. Do you guys wish to propose this to Puria, then? Yes. No objections here. I'm going to need a persuasion check with advantage from whoever so wishes. Oh, ho, ho. Give it a shot. Let's not do me. Uh, ooh, I don't have the best charisma. Get I'll in there, boy. Get it. Okay, never mind. I lied. I am apparently a Riz master today. Let's see if you crit. It's with Let's do another advantage one. too. Yeah, yeah advantage. Do, do, yeah, Just in case again. you crit. All right. All right. Okay, with a with a twenty, with a soft twenty, uh, Piria is completely on board with the plan, mm-hmm. and uh, she just agrees. Well, oh. if you're willing to put that gross lady out of our town, then all the better. I'd be willing to lend it, at least for a night. She's been coming here every so often, and she's not the first time someone from Trevisetta has been wanting to up and repurpose this place for their own means. Hmm. We've been mostly staying independent, often getting supplies here and there from Politrios, but mostly self-sustaining, but Trevisetta, they only see profit in this place. Yes. You do have a rather desirable set of natural resources here. Yes. Unfortunately, we've caused the sin of trying to use it to better ourselves rather than trying to make petty coin. So, Of course. Uh, so for the lantern, uh, I assume for the purposes of stealth, we don't want it installed on the cart just <laughs> yet, if we can help it. Uh, All right. She we- can give you a mobile lantern of true sight. That would be pretty nifty. Uh, and what, what do we have to pay up front to rent the bad boy? With the 20 persuasion, she's going to lend it to you for the night. Wow. <laughs> nice. I only ask that you bring her to justice if she really is the one doing all of this. Um, if not, uh, give it back. perhaps all wow. you've done for us, I can maybe give a little bit of a discount. Uh, I, but I, I, not too I much. That. Of course. We'll run a business after all. All right, let's see. Um, so what's the plan, gang? What are we thinking? I guess stake out the area. We could, we could like, wait. Because we know the path that it's going to be following. <gasps> yes. Oh, wait. Do you still have that uh, line with a bell on? Because we won't be able to see her at first. So if she trips it, then we'll definitely be able to see her because we can run over with the lamp. Hmm. That um, would be a good idea. I'm also considering just in terms of how much we can stealth so she doesn't get suspicious. Uh, some of us are stealthier than others. <laughs> are there any well, it trees? sounds like it sounds like there's gonna be a large noise that we would hear and be able to go and like investigate. Mm. There are trees around. You could hide in the tree. I, I could hide in the tree. I can be a wild animal, so I'm not super worried about me. Um, I think we're all. I, th- I don't think we're all that bad at st- like stealth. I don't yeah, you're a very stealthy really... crew. Heck yeah. Well, except like, for me, but that's what Wild Change yeah, is for, yeah, baby. That's what Wild Change <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plus zero. Like I'm, like, I'm proficient in stealth. I think Word probably is. Fritz, I don't know if, 
how your dexterity um, yourself. I'm very athletic. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, well, well we're, he's going to get it ready, so maybe we could go uh, to the tavern or something until then. Should we let yeah. the mayor what mischief we're up to, maybe? We should probably tell the mayor. I, yeah. I feel like like us yeah. catching her and then Vigilantism. it being like, yeah, we totally caught her red-handed. Like, it would be good to have other people witnessing okay. just a little bit. Of, well, just like, let them know that we we might be causing a bit of a commotion. Just a skosh. Okay, yes. you go inside. You see Mayor Isaac is uh, just kind of putting things up for the night. You know, he's placing the chairs back on the tables and such. Um, and he sees you come in. Ah, hello. Is there aught I can do for you? Uh, who would like to explain? Uh, we're just... Want to explain? Yeah, <laughs> so here's the deal. We're, um... Uh, we just decided to stay maybe the night, and um, I, we just thought we'd let you know that we're trying to solve the whole broken century issue. Ah, oh, very um, good. To, it seems like that's been an issue for the town, and so we, we, we thought we'd use our resources to look into it while we're here. Um, on the off chance that we should have to... Um, there's a w woman here, Lu Lucia Baztan... Ah, uh, yes, the business lady. We sort of suspect... I don't know if, I'm, if this is what you guys want me to say. But no, we're, yeah, we're, yes. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're sort of suspicious that she might be involved with the disappearance or destruction of some of these sentries. And so, just tonight, I mean, it's it wouldn't be an issue if we were to sort of stake out the, the path of any sentries just to make sure everything's on the up and up. Give uh, me a that... persuasion check. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Well, perhaps you can do what you believe is best, but I don't know that I condone your actions. Uh, Lady Lucia is a very powerful woman from a place far beyond our jurisdiction. I would not want to cause an incident between the provinces. Whatever happens here is under jurisdiction of Politrios, and I wouldn't want to cause tension between them. If things were to go wrong, and it turns out it isn't true, and you have the wrong woman, I worry about the fate of this town. Well, we're not going to be, be just... Hurt. We're just watching. It, it, well, yeah, we're not trying to cast a spur, you know, accusations out just yet. Um... Although we we just want to we just wanted to make you aware of our findings. Um, our intention is simply to observe the path of the automaton, ensure it isn't attacked, and if it is, to act in its defense against whoever or whatever may be causing the issue. Hmm. Very well. You may do as you wish. I sim I cannot truly stop you. Hmm. Just please be careful. Of course. If anything happens, it's on us, not you. Yes. You Simply can blame the, the pilgrims. <laughs> Overzealous pilgrims. Uh, do be wary of those Trevisettans. They like to believe themselves true owners of Valenti. When things go wrong, they like to see themselves as uh, not heard truthsayers. If only their words were heeded. And when things do go well, they see themselves as prophets. Charming. Verily. Huh. You have a good night, D pilgrims. There will be warm beds when you return. Thank you. DM, I have a question. Do yep. all t tieflings have golden eyes? No. Um, mm. At least I don't think so. <laughs> I th okay. Have I accidentally made the two tieflings you've met so far have golden eyes? Yes. <laughs> well then, I think he was wondering if it was an ex-in-law. Talind mm. Talindra had, does, and so I like I, I just see. didn't know if that was. I w I'm wondering if I. It doesn't sound. I'm now realizing talking to you. It doesn't sound like that was like a purposeful <laughs> choice. So it doesn't really matter. You but may I just interpret that sure. however you wish. Hey, Fair bro, enough. you've got okay. the same eyes as my ex-wife. You want to hang out? <laughs> <laughs> you got my ex-wife's eyes. In you live long enough. You. <laughs> You look like my old... My, you the old can Warren see the same Jane. eyes in different people. I see her eyes wherever I go. I can't escape them. Oh, boy. 
All right. So it's a very funny buck situation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just you and my ex-wife's eyes. <laughs> you guys are gonna stake out the route, and I have a map prepared. And by prepared, I mean recycled from uh, previous yeah. night. Yeah. Hey. So oh, there this is, place looks familiar. There is the crystal sentry <laughs> that is going to be rolling along the route, and you may position yourselves uh, how you so wish. Uh, there are trees around, a pond, Tony. and uh, a ledge of elevation over here. All right, who wants the Lantern of True Sight? Are you guys all in a different tree? Uh, hold on, I haven't, I haven't placed myself anywhere yet. I'm figuring uh, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's the fastest? You really like Boop. me carrying you, word. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Who's All the right, fastest? let me just check my list of wild shape options. Do you want the lantern then? Because you're gonna have to, oh, do you want to set up some like string and bells? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have a deja vu. Uh, the town is down south, and this is on the kind of outskirts close to the to the road. And the route the sentry takes is like this. And usually they shatter around here. Mm, in that case, I would like to post up, uh, just scooch over to this other tree. Heck yeah. I'll stay in the tree I'm in. Oh, I'm sorry, Buck. I think I can... It's fine. You guys wanted to be. <laughs> oh. Yay. Okay. Ding, ding. 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 All right. And you guys are going to wait in this position then? Let me just check the rules. Uh, it is, oh, I haven't considered that. I would say that this thing is, because of its expense, it's always on. How visible is it? Like, hooded lantern, cloak. yeah. Hmm. I would say in that case, the lantern only works on things it shines on. Okay. So by covering the light, yeah. But I, I think that showing it, obviously, if you have it lit, when we're trying to sneak up on the person, it's going to kind of show where you are. All right. So I'm going to need stealth checks from every single one of you. Oh, boy. Hold on. Let me just see. Ah, oh, wait. Never mind. That was an 18. I'm okay. I'm also I not good at I didn't realize I have good but, stealth. I forgot uh, I was stealthy. <laughs> I would like to be a panther for this. Ah, so I'm just going to use my wild shape. And that means I get a plus two dex. So I'm going to roll my stealth and then we just add plus two, uh, if that's okay. Okay. Last time we tried rolling from the panther character sheet, it didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> um, seems so. All right. Oh, so come on. 18, 17. Damn it. All right, that's a nine, Ooh, I guess. That's a nine. All right. You're also an, an, you're also an animal, though. I am. Right? I'm like just you're... chilling in a tree. This is a completely legitimate place for panthers to hang out. In this area? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Currently, yeah. I guess. You're going to tell this panther it doesn't belong here? <laughs> okay, so you guys stake it out. The sentry rolls over, tumbling and pushing aside rocks and making a dent in the path that it travels as it's approaching and approaching the, the path and the location of where all the other ones crumble. And then, right before it hits the spot, you hear the bell ring. Ding, 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 ding. The lantern. And you light it up, and you see it's Mayor Isaac. Mayor no. Isaac! <laughs> this no, is a Scooby-Doo episode. I can't oh. believe it wasn't the incredibly obvious one. And... What does he do? What happened? Is he invisible, or... <laughs> he uh, did you shine the light immediately? Along the line of the string. Well, I guess he you light him up and you can see him. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? 
I'm going to say he was visible before the lantern because you were okay. probably keeping an eye on the bell. <laughs> then he, you see that he was not invisible. And he sees you kind of light the light. He holds up his hands and you can see he's very frightened. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Cover the lantern again. <laughs> He comes over to the tree. We told him we were doing the stake act. I... I... I'm just scared for my town. What if... Oh? What if what Lady Lucia says is right? I, the blot is always a threat and a potential, and maybe we could use mm. the extra assistance. And you're mm. gonna fight it alone? Exactly. We we could use her help. I... Do you... Hold on. All right, I'm going to keep an eye on the automaton while they're having this okay. little fight. Yeah, <laughs> while you're discussing, it's going to be What's happening. Going on your, plan, your plan was to stake out to see Blot on your own. Do you have a death wish? <laughs> no, I would never want to come out and see the Blot. I... I came to interfere with your stakeout. What? Thanks, Mr. Mayor. I'm sorry. We your, did roll very badly. Your plan did not instill confidence in me. I just... <laughs> I... I understand, but please don't put yourself in danger. <laughs> I would if it were for the savior of my... And bang! A loud boom happens. And Lyra, you see the sentry shatter into dust. Wow, that was quick. Well, it's a good thing word gonna... wasn't in there. The lantern! <laughs> can I Can I reaction jump down to like cover my wings to make sure he's not hit by shrapnel? Yes, you do, actually, Fritz. I'm going to need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. As well as Lyra and word. Buck, you're far oh, enough away. Heck yeah. Buck All comes right. out on top again, All right. baby. Oh my goodness. All right. This Ooh. is fortunately going to be another plus two from my, my panther self. So let me just hacha. Could I roll even a little bit? Okay. Okay. So that's actually a 15. Okay. So word, you're the only one who takes the full damage, which is four. You take four ah. piercing damage. Uh, the rest of you take two. Okay. And you cover the mayor and shine the lights. And you can see, just as suspected, it was the lizard folk, Lucia, who is holding no. her wand out. And she notices the light and, oh! Have we all rolled initiative yet? You may roll initiative now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Uh, try I forget. We'll Do I gain any sort of initiative lady. bonus from being a panther at the moment? Is uh, it, it is dex your or dex bonus. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this, and then it's gonna be that plus two. Uh. Hacha. Oh come on! <laughs> Can I roll above a ten, please? I'm sorry. I'm stealing all your rolls today. Okay, so it's actually a seven. There we go. That is going to be thirteen. Why does it keep rolling twice? Huh. <laughs> it's just, it's really teasing you. A boop, a boop, a boop. And uh, the mayor will go on Lucia's turn. Buck, you're up first. You see Lucia ah. caught red-handed, or in this case, green-handed. Ha ha ha. I mean, am I supposed to just hit her with my hammer? I don't know what the plan is. <laughs> I think um, we want to we want to we want to capture her so she can be held for justice or something. Uh, good idea. Uh, I will get climb down from the tree, <laughs> and I have enough. I definitely have enough to like go over to her. I would just like to go off and maybe like, can I go up to her and like maybe hold my action to try and grapple her if she tries to run away? Okay. Yeah. You and may do so. Just Your yet, reaction will spring hurt to grapple her, her if that. she tries to run away. Yeah, and then I'll end my turn. Okay, next is Lucia and the mayor's her. turn. And Lucia is going to do a whisk of her wand and cast Misty Step. Mm -mm. Oh, dang. And she's going to vanish up to the high ground. 
Damn. Cannot win, Anakin. And then she starts running. No! As you hear <laughs> the pitter-patter of her feet uh, running through the grass. Stop moving! And I'm oh, going to say she is... Let's see. Missy Step is a bonus action. So... Let's see. She's, she will be 60 feet out. If someone can reach 60 feet plus however much distance it is to, um, like, the edge of the map, you can, I would say you can reach up to melee uh, range with her. So 60 plus 35, so... Yeah, for you, be, that would be 95. Me, I can make that if I... Right, well, I can make that if I turn. dash yeah. on my turn. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, But she is booking 20. it. She has missy yeah. stepped and dashed. Fritz. She's 65 feet from me right now. Uh, Carry me. How I'll get to work. You want me to throw you again? Yes. It sparkles in his eyes. Okay, I'm going along with this. How far can I move again? Well, I can also use Misty Step as a... I also have Misty Step. <laughs> we all have Misty Step. Oh, I shit. Not, up to not all of us have Misty Girls Step. Girls like Misty Step. <laughs> up to 30 feet. Actually, oh, if, tree, if I, I get the right range right? thing, I think I might have something similar. Maybe. All right. Uh, I'm going to go my max distance of 30 feet, which is... Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm just behind Buck. Mm -hmm. Come with me, Word. I am carrying you. Yes. Perfect. I'm done and oh. I guess I've just got to chuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an athletics oh. check, and that's how far rounded uh, <laughs> down you will throw Word. Okay. Uh, 15 hey. feet. Three Word, squares. you get a 15 okay. feet head start. I nice. slam into the wall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Swap. You I latch like on a like a 3D platformer latching onto a ledge. Yeah. Um, we go in Tears of the Kingdom. Anything yes, else for yes. Stamina. Quick, use Ascend. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do something kind of sneaky? And I'm wondering if this is a bit weird. Can I use Gust of Wind to push him up the hill? Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Which, Can you remind me what Gust of Wind does? Treatment. Put it in the chat. Uh, how do I it's actually it? in your spells now since I fixed your sheet. Yeah. Um, yeah. Feet, each creature that starts its turn in the line must succeed on a strength saving throw or be pushed 15 feet away from you in a direction following the line. I no. opt to fail. Yeah, you can choose to fail. Okay. Um, we'll yeah, so yeah, I could can, also fail. Good night. It's just um, it's it's a short ledge. It's just five. <laughs> I'm a rock. It's five feet high. I would say you're in the air, so he's already like up. So you get pushed another fifteen feet. Word. The Go flying on, okay. the this flying so cobalt. Cool. It's it's a line, so I I would also be pushed. Yes, you feet would. If yeah, I yeah. Choose yeah. To that's fail. what I was thinking. Yeah. So I'm actually. If you look at all of our turn order, I'm moving at a horrifying speed. <laughs> yes. This is I terrifying. Buck, do you want me to push you? This yeah, is your I, yeah, I'll be pushed. Yeah, yeah. I'll be sorry. I thought you were talking. Yeah, yeah right. I'll be pushed. So just we're pass over tea kettle into the ledge. All right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's another spell slot, right? Word the yeah. flying kobold. <laughs> you fly the 30 feet being pushed by Fritz forward right. with like a jaunty land onto the grass. The amazing um, flying kobold. <laughs> that's all I've ever wanted to be. <laughs> it's the second time word has flown. No, third. I'm losing, yes. I'm losing track. The third. <laughs> Looks like this word has flown. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Uh, is it me turn? Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's 60 feet away. I think that still leaves me within five feet of her once I get up there. Oh, yes. That's one easy. And then, yeah, like, uh, yeah, easy. So I won't be within <laughs> attack range. That's also my, well, I can do a bonus action to get there. So I'll do that. Yes. And then I will... Huck some negotiation at her. <gasps> oh, you're gonna hit her! I keep throwing it, and I never, and it never lands. Believe it or not, eleven is enough. Ring. She's not wearing armor. Oh my goodness! Oh. Yes, no oh, major no. armor. She didn't expect us. Die, woman! Stop. She's no, also don't kill her! <laughs> kill her! Knock her unconscious. She's oh. also panting and just like, <gasps> oh, I, I really should have done more Pilates. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I hit her with like the hilt of it? Yes, you can, uh, we can choose to make damage. Yeah, you, you you can choose. Yeah, yeah like the hilt, okay, and you I'll... bop her, and she oh, 
and uh, damage. she is actually just knocked out cold from that one hit. Oh, oh boy. I don't Never know if that's mess good with or bad. A kobold who can move a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> so we know the new strat. I throw you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> My scales are like hot to the touch because how fast I've been moving. <laughs> we got the fastball special down, <laughs> Pat. Oh, this is oh, great. No, I don't even need to stop being a panther. There's something so fun about oh my just gosh, throwing you and then using my guts <laughs> to push you. All right, that cool. That was some proper negotiating. So my, my, weapon. my plan to use Misty Step and summon Beast, and none of that matters. I just get to stay a cat. This is awesome. <laughs> it's even Hello. better. Yeah. All right. So uh, word, I presume you drag her back to the party? Uh, yeah. Exhaustively. <laughs> Steering and over the little rocks. She just gets bumped. Mayor Isaac comes up as well, and he looks incredibly impressed. Ah. I... I'm sorry, I doubted you, Pilgrims. I just... Uh, all the concern, I, I started to believe her words, and... I'm... I'm sorry. We'll look at her actions instead. <laughs> I see That's that now. Okay. And when also look have... at ours, because they were really cool. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> you have people to protect, and when people are being shady, you get worried. Well, uh, with all the blot attacks recently, I just... She I'm going to change back. To my More blot attacks? What, what's what been going on there? <laughs> uh, yes, well, they've been happening more frequently of late. More to the west, near Old Diosia, which is to be expected, but even, even so. Oh. I believe that's where we're headed next, at least direction-wise. Yes, and I do pray for your safety. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, what uh, shall we do with our new captive? Th this is, was a crime she was committing, right? Like, she was destroying the property of other people, specifically designed to protect and, the town. I mean, yeah, like, the, this is the bad the stuff, town, though. Yeah, Certainly. she put yeah, the town in danger off, off the blot. Hmm. And we do have multiple witnesses here. Yes, indeed. If you give me a well, moment, I, I will give a sending to an officiate of Politrios. Perhaps they can come here sense. tomorrow morning and pick her up. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you again, uh, Pilgrims. I will see you back at town. Should we go back with him to make sure nothing bad happens? Yeah. Eh. We should probably put some ice on that. I feel like she's going to make a fuss <laughs> if it makes a bruise. <laughs> yeah, you know what? She's already everybody else's problem. We, we can lessen that. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. Out of curiosity, are there any oh, big nice. enough chunks from the from the automaton to salvage, or is it just vaporized, basically? It is vaporized to, like, sand. Wow. And you can see, like, so in it as well, in the center of it, you can see a small black marble, almost like a playing marble. But when you pick it up, it feels as though it's got the weight of, like, a, like a sword. Interesting. Oh. I'll keep that. <laughs> yeah. So what's that? Like you may a little add black... heavy black marble to your inventory. <laughs> oh, <laughs> heavy wow. Black Is marble. it Christmas already? <laughs> Best magic item. I'll carry this woman, I guess, back to Do town. Do you need some rope? Um, I can tear up. I, she is out. She's very okay. unconscious and is probably <laughs> not going to escape from me. So we can, I, I, we'll see if they have like a holding cell or something when we get back to mm -hmm. town, but I think I can manage. I suspect their holding cell is going to be the most uncomfortable room in the inn. <laughs> mm -hmm. We can make it more uncomfortable. No, that's, <laughs> that, I don't know if that's necessary. Let's just get back to town. Let's go back to town. <laughs> All right. You go back to town, bring her in. And yes, indeed, it is just a room in the inn. They do bind her. They use some of the crystals. Uh, to kind of make some makeshift manacles to keep her in clasps. Uh, I do not have a nighttime map for this, unfortunately, but Aww. you can imagine. And the uh, so she does awaken at some point during the night. Do you wish to interrogate her at all, or are you just going to leave her to uh, to the mayor's? Oh, that feels like a really awkward conversation. I don't want to deal with her right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't really know. Uh, I just want to exactly stick my tongue out of her. Uh, I, she's, there's something going on. Oh, did we take mm. her wand? Y you, I, I would presume yeah, I that you not, did, yeah. that you disarmed her yeah. of any uh, potential just like so, weapons on her. So what kind of wand is it? Uh, you can see that it is just a typical casting component. You can see that there is an emblem on it of House 
Uh, Baztan, um, of which uh, I have yet to make yet, but will be relevant. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I will so give you a visual for that. So she's a latent caster. This, the wand doesn't have charges. Uh, no, it is simply a, a catalyst in which to cast. Like a, like a, a focus. Oh. Yeah, like a focus, yeah. essentially. Yeah, yeah. But it is manufactured by the, the, the wonderful company known as House Bastan uh, that, huh. for all your casting needs. <laughs> hmm. That you have cool. heard of. Uh, it is. This it is certainly a, a brand. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really think I want to like interrogate. I think I want to get some food. We <laughs> eat, uh, uh, we're supposed to eat every day. Right? Yes, we are. are Let's all party it up downstairs. Day. Yeah, and uh, there is some food laid out, um, courtesy of the mayor. And if you wish to do guy. anything and chat and hang out, you're pretty much the only ones in the tavern. Um, hmm. For uh, active in the tavern this late in the night, everybody else is probably head off to bed if you so wish to do anything. But otherwise, Wise. the night is yours. Did you say that we were getting a discount on the room? Like, do you know how much? How much is the rooms? Are, are we each getting individual rooms, or? In fact, the mayor feels such um, sorrow and, and apologies to you that he has <laughs> opted to give you the rooms for free as an apology Yippee! for his doubt of your plan and possibly almost completely messing it up. <laughs> yeah, genuinely. And we all get our own. We all get our own rooms. Yep, you get your own room if you so wish. Right. Fancy. Yep. And you may take a long rest, resetting all of your uh, class features and such. All our things. Oh no! Hold on. There we go. We beat the game. <laughs> We're winning D and D. Indeed. But uh, I guess there's nothing else you guys want to do with the lady. You're just going to wait for the uh, official to come in? Yeah, it's probably best. We're not really the police. <laughs> <laughs> come to, yeah. to I don't think we feel the need to gloat, and I don't think we expect her to have information we particularly want. Mm -hmm. But, you know. But, uh, yeah, early in the morning, uh, once everyone is up, you do see two friends come visit you in the tavern. It is Grumble and Piria. Grumble just like Yay. goes up to you, you know, by whatever table you're sitting at, and he just goes, mm, "Thanks." <laughs> Sorry, yeah. we can save the bigger tunnel, hon. Uh, a little bit more. Oh yeah, your reward. And he hands you two items for Ooh, not only oh uh, investigating, which he would have given you a solidary reward, but for solving the mystery. Yeah. The small reward you get what's called a push wand. Which oh, here oh. I will put into the chat now. A wand what pushes? It is a little wand with a the similar oh. crystal fashioned into a kind of donut <gasps> shape. Like oh, that's, that's incredibly dangerous. That's Does that so have a Gary's throw? mod. <laughs> <laughs> We could just push people off cliffs like yeah, every day. I, I hope we don't have any encounters where falling is an instant lose condition. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh no, that would be such a shame. <laughs> and the big reward, another invention of his, is a uh, one of the crystals fashioned into a necklace. Ooh. The gem of blades. Ooh. <gasps> oh, that's rad. Mm. Who takes the most damage? Yeah, we should give I, that to the I, barbarian. I, I, I think. Yeah, I would really yeah. like the gem of blades. That well, it'll deal good. even less damage because <laughs> he reduces damage already. That's right. Ooh. If someone else wants it because they're because it reduces damage, wait, does it reduce damage? Uh, uh, it no, you doesn't the damage like you take. So it, it, yeah, doesn't, so it doesn't reduce, reduce damage, damage. But it just you, does you it just... deals it back. No, it, it it is dealt after your barbarian ability reduces yes. damage. Is what I'm saying. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. If someone oh, else it's, wants it's, it, that's fine. I mean, it, I, I would want it. But... Balance, but... They both require attunement. Well, I, kind I feel of like, like Word has gotten very close to me <laughs> a couple of times. <laughs> Admittedly, mm. this wouldn't stop him from taking damage. It would just make the person regret it. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm all about making people regret things. I'll take that. <laughs> I feel like you've cast some bomb on them the most, though. Mm. Do you, Does someone want the push one specifically? The push one's awesome. It is. I'll take them both. Do you I'm want it, Lyra? It doesn't really feel like my thing. Uh, uh, honestly, you with your mobility, it? Fritz, it would make sense yeah, for you to have it. Yeah, because you can get within thirty feet to be of people. people. Yeah, <laughs> between that and the wind wall and stuff. I also, can I show around. Grumble the heavy black marble and be like, uh, "Do you? 
We found this in the ruins of the automaton. Are you? Do you know what this is? Mm. He takes it, look like lifts it above his head so that it can catch on the light. Mm. Black marble, Use, useful spell component, powerful spell. Really? Oh, Gravi- interesting. Gravity sinkhole. What? Oh, that's what that was. That is evidence. Interesting. Very dangerous. He hands it back to you. Have fun. (laughs) Thank you. I'm so confused. (laughs) And you can see Piria also comes to congratulate you and thank you. Um, And uh, she looks to you, Word. So uh, I believe that uh, I owe you to keep that lantern that I lent you then. I would love that. I don't like it when people are invisible other than me. We certainly have to pay for that, though. I mean, it's not fair otherwise. Hmm. If you'd like to pay for it. I'd part with it for a hundred gold pieces for all the work you've done for our town. That sounds extremely reasonable. Uh, yes. Thank you. (laughs) Of course. I'll just take that out of my inventory. (laughs) All right. You guys can Um, spot my rations next time. It's fine. (laughs) If you'd like, I can mount it onto your cart. Yeah, let's make it that little lantern that is on the cart. <laughs> yeah! That hmm. little lantern. I wonder if it was predestined. <laughs> it certainly influenced the design. Yeah, I think probably all of these services are somewhat already visually influenced. <laughs> mm-hmm. They just get a different cool. color this time. Ooh. Uh, and this will oh, certainly geez, help that, the town. Also. That gra- Graviton wrench is awesome. Also. Oh, yeah. My Mm -hmm. little delivery girl. And she goes over to Fritz. And uh, she hands over what looks to be a tiny little, like, automaton-like figure. The figure that you've handed her, made of wood carving, she's fashioned into a little (gasps) robo-doll. And you can see she also hands you a little, uh, like, about... One foot by one foot portrait. I commissioned this um, with one of the artists that were here earlier yesterday. They happen to be in town. So you may give this to my brother. And you can see that it is her holding the little automaton, just like posing for the painting. (laughs) Aww. It's so cute. I'll stuff that in my messenger bag. A good start to getting to re-know each other again. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Yeah. I'm just excited to deliver. Yeah. (laughs) And for simplicity's sake, Fritz, I will say that um, you can hand it to probably some of the the informants that you may know in Politrios because you've delivered all over. There's probably someone Mm -hmm. you can give it to. I'm not going to make you go back to Nuba Sky. Yeah. (laughs) Awesome. All right. Fantastic. Now, Piria heads off to mount the lantern onto your cart. And just as uh, planned, the official that uh, the mayor said would come into town heads. uh, You can hear kind of a ringing of the doorbell just right on cue as expected at time. And you can see that it is an Aarakocra of striking uh, characteristics. Hot or not, um, put your guesses. Maybe, yeah. and you can Flip see. Flip that coin. You can see a uh, a man that has very peculiar looking features, uh, striking resemblance to someone you've seen before. He looks like he's got black feathers with bright green accents, and is wearing mm-hmm. a long brown coat and carrying with him a large leather briefcase. And as he walks in, and you all look um, to see who had just walked in, he immediately stops. Oh. At your notice. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. And Hello. he's he looks directly at Fritz. Oh. Mm. Wait a minute. Hmm. And he just um almost stumbles a little bit and puts <laughs> one hand to his mouth, kind of clutching into a fist. <clears throat> um Hello there. Faylin, is that you? <gasps> Who are you? Oh, I, um, well, it's a, a small kingdom. Um, you've grown. 
you. Oh. Oh. I've cried. Who, who? I'm going to say this once again. Who are you? Staring back uh, and forth. Sorry, I, you used I didn't expect. Uh, you don't know who I am, uh, but Dozen might. He uh, just oh. gives a little bow. I'm. My I'm dad? A, I am Dozen? Astrapio Biscaris. I am your birth father. <laughs> what? What? And we're going to end sorry, the session but... there. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Your dad's a lawyer? <laughs> I guess. Can he pick me up? Oh, God, I'm glad I didn't say hot as soon as the image popped up. <laughs> I was too struck by the fact that it looked like Fritz. Yeah. <laughs> your dad's hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> by the He's way, I'm greener than with I expected. Coins, <laughs>